A peeky weeky, it's your poopy doopy. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton. I am your humble narrator and welcome back to Rust. Um, I did go back to that guy's house and I ended up taking a CCTV as well as a laptop and attaching that with an assault rifle. I was ma able to make an auto turret, which is out there beeping away. Um, today is the day of ultimate destruction. 52 rockets, 91 C4. Um, I got my eye on a house in the northwest, so we're gonna have to do some some hoofing to get there. Hopefully it'll, it'll all go well. I really don't want to die with all of my fucking C4 and shit because I will rage uh, super hard. <laughs> I don't think there's uh, anybody out there lurking currently. It's kind of early in the morning once again. Hello, Mr. Turret. Oh, he's so friendly. Let's turn him off. Yeah, peacekeeper mode. You can authorize, which is probably the, the thing to do. I'll have to turn this off for my buddies before they come out this way, which is kind of funny. I have them trapped a little bit. <laughs> I could deauthorize it, open it up, add some more rounds. Oh, it seems that it's used just a few rounds. Maybe on a bear or something like that. That's interesting. I'll keep it turned off for now. Although, uh, I might regret the decision later if somebody comes to the base, so actually, just, uh, leave it turned on. It's a scary sound, and we'll have to listen for that sound too if, uh, somebody else has them in a base. But I think it should be relatively okay. You need to be at least ten foundations away from them. Ten units, building units, away from them in order to, uh, not take damage. They can't detect you ten units away. So, uh, I learned that from my friend who does a good amount of raiding. I have just started, basically. Um, I'm more of a brute force kind of dude than anything currently. That's why I have so many, uh, so many goodies with me. There's a little deer over there. Oh, we're looking for bigger game. That's right, the most dangerous game, boy. And hopefully I can, uh, expend all of this goodness that I have. I'd like to set up a little base near their base with a, a sleeping bag and whatnot, so we should probably collect some resources on the way over there. And um, really the external stone walls are the thing that present the most problem because it takes like six rockets or four C4 to get through, which is just an insane amount. Um, definitely probably not worth it. So we're going to have to uh, find a way to build up and over once we get there. At least that's uh, what I have in mind. I should probably also grab some some goodies from these trees, just so if I get caught by the helicopter or anything like that, <laughs> I can at least make a little bit of cover for myself. And these trees are giving a, a tiny amount of wood because they are saplings. So I guess I'll just continue over a little bit more. Yeah, eight, 800 is enough to build like a one a one square house that I use to uh, escape from the helicopters. I really uh, figured out how to build uh, some traps and things like that using the bear traps and people people, people being forced to clip through into the bear trap. Um, basically putting the bear traps on the second shelf, salvage shelves below, and then if you climb over on the second shelf of the salvage shelves, you'll get hit by the bear trap on the floor above because your head's clipping through. It's kind of complicated uh, in words, but uh, seeing it in action, it seems like a pretty fun thing. What is that I hear? God damn it. Why you do this? I am not going to die with all this fucking C4. <laughs> no, sir. There he goes! Goodbye, Mr. Helicopter! Goodbye! I had a pretty good, like, song sesh jam. That was pretty cool. But now we gotta get back on the road. Back on the road, boy! I probably should have brought a flamethrower or something like that, since, uh, it does make raiding just a little bit easier. Um... But there's no problem. No problem! We gotta go way over them mountains. And, uh, I gotta think up a plan collect some resources, figure out how I'm gonna do 
I definitely want to plant like uh, most of my resources and then I can just kind of run back and forth which shouldn't present much of a problem but we'll see how it goes it doesn't usually go as planned so um, yeah somebody could pop on at the wrong moment and then I'm fucked but hopefully that won't happen hopefully we'll have a, a field day and clean out their whole shit cleaning day spring cleaning cleaning day I'm here to do it fresh towels room room service is that what they say housekeeping that's what it is housekeeping <laughs> Uh, don't worry, I'll clean it up. I'll clean it up real good. There's quite a good uh, amount of spaces on this server. A lot of people seem to be clustered up in the northwest, which is a good thing. Um, but it's a bit too flat for my liking, just because of all those rivers and whatnot. Uh, so, th so there's not too many good places to hide a gigantic base like we have done behind our mountain of doom. And I think that's a good thing. I did move most of the uh, items that we have up into the watchtower, the high quality metal, a bunch of the metal fragments, just so uh, if we get raided on one base, uh, they won't necessarily clear us out completely. Although it would be sad to lose a lot of the stuff in that gun chest, uh, a lot of people won't take guns and the like just because uh, there's not much room for it, especially if you've got a load of sulfur lying around. Oh man. It's so beautiful. I think we killed the guy over there the other day. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Andy. I did come back. I told you that. I got the television camera and, and I murdered him. Which wasn't a good idea. Because uh, now he'll be out for me. But I'm gonna go and raid Dan's base. Which is like right next to his. And they've been having some skirmishes. So I'm gonna try and help him out and uh, make it up to him. Because I feel kind of bad. I think I killed Tony GG too, just because, just because, but I left his uh, stuff all spawn there, so if he wants to come back, spawn in that bed, you can start right over, I'd be glad to visit you one more time. <laughs> oh, and I also figured out how to make a longsword. Longsword kills in one hit, yes, cause it is good, ha, huh? you must fear it. I haven't tried throwing it at anything, although I'm quite eager to do that as well. Man, the sphere tank is still all the way over there. Jesus Christ. Let's jump cut it. Jump cut it! Okay, so, sphere tank is just that way. We want to head a little more this way, out onto that peninsula, or the one to the right of it, I believe is where uh, Dan, Dan Mate, has uh, set up his base. We're gonna clear him out. We're gonna clear him out real good. Probably a little bit at a time. Take like 20 C4 in. Only fall back on the rockets if I need them. But I don't know if uh, anybody's gonna gonna pop online. Hopefully not. It's still relatively early in Australia. In Australia, the work day ain't over yet, mate. Which means Dayton does got some some time to go have a little peeky weeky. A peeky weeky at your poopy doopy. That's right, baby. Show it to me. Do chicks like when you talk like that? I'm not sure. <laughs> I hope it's only sheet metal base. Uh, 2C4 to get through a wall is much better than 4C4. But you don't very often see armored base, even on like super high pop servers. Um, sometimes people do just the outside armored, so you have to go in the front door to get in, which I think is a. Uh, a pretty smart way to do it <clears throat> but if you really want to troll you gotta make a, a honeycomb bunch of doors and um, make all the walls armored so then they basically have to spend double the amount of C4 to get through the walls it's mean but it can be cheaper to get, go through the walls with C4 if they uh, if they know where the loot room lies generally I don't <laughs> I'm not very good at recon I just uh, kind of brute force my way in. That's my strategy. Brute force all the way. Some more metal. I'm sure we'll need this shortly. Just to uh, upgrade the base that we decided to drop. I should get some animal fat as well. Hmm. Mr. Bear, help me out. Oops. 
I need to kill him. Die, would you? Oh, here he comes. Well, he got me. He got me, didn't you, little buddy? Stop the bleeding. Stop the bleeding. Get the fat now. Oh my god, look at that skinny. Getting so much of that animal fat. I can make uh, quite a few furnaces. Maybe a large outdoor furnace if I stack up enough stone. Hmm. That seems like a fun little place to build. If you don't mind half your house being underwater. <laughs> you sleep in the water. Die in the water. Go into the water. Maybe I need this. Cloth is always good for ladders, sleeping bags, uh, quite a multitude of things. So I'll head up just over here. No now we have to keep an eye out. I do see a little something over that way. What is this? A tree? Wonderful. <sighs> I thought it was something more exciting than that. Oh yeah. There's a base right there. All right. So uh, I'm gonna set up a little, a little outpost. And the nice thing about this is I can do it all with wood. With wood! I'm not gonna upgrade it to scrap metal, probably. Hmm. And we'll go like this, and like this. Should make some furnaces, probably. Um, now we should make some ceilings. Do, 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 do. Did I make a door? <laughs> There's your problem. Maybe I, no, I didn't. Oh my god. <laughs> so fucking stupid. Okay, there's my door. I just want it to be sealed in. Don't you understand? Alright, I'll make a little bit of low-grade fuel. Or a lot of bit of low-grade fuel. That'll do just fine. Do we have rocks? I don't think I have any actual rocks. That's fine. I'm sure once we get in there, they'll have uh, plenty of rocks. So let's make a little... storage box. Just a few... Three of them? Four of them? Five of them? Eight of them? I think four will do. Thank you so much, Animal Fat. You've done great things here today. Don't need bones. Don't need hemp seeds. Do you need to place these? One, two, three, four. And I'll put some fat in there. Gonna bring... Bring 26. Should be enough to get us somewhere in the base, at least. And then uh, I'll patch up the rest of this house just a little bit. So nobody come a-knocking. Um, really, I would like some, some metal fragments so I can make a code lock and a door. I probably should have left with those things because I had plenty of, of said things at my house. But, um... If I get into there, it should be just fine. Let's put a floor. And I need to make a sleeping bag as well before I forget. Oh my god, critical mistakes. Um, sleeping bag. Uh oh. I hear something splashing outside. Hope it's just an animal. Probably. We're fine. Don't worry. I'm actually gonna stash even more of this stuff. Why not? It means more room for goodies. Oh, I'll probably need a blueprint to build into their base. As well as some wood. Miner's hat can stay here because it's daytime. Alright. Then, uh, a door. Or I could farm some stone. No, we'll just make a wood door. 
It's gonna be fine. With a wood door. With a lock. Hopefully they don't fucking figure this out. If I die in the base, it's probably gonna be super easy to figure out. But I'll make a code lock as soon as I find some fragments and, uh, at least replace this piece of shit. Alright. So, make a key. Now I've got my key, my sword, C4. <sighs> Alright. Let's go, uh, have a look at what we got, I guess. Oh, sleeping bag. God damn it. Did I not verbally announce it? Mm -hmm. Really, I didn't even bring a second gun to leave in this fucking place. So, if I get caught, it, it's basically like totally, totally some bonage, which is not going to be good. But I don't plan to get caught, so... Alright. There's the sleeping bag. Let's not forget it. And I'll name it Raid. Raid! Like a commercial for Bug Killer. Makes your head feel fuzzy. Why don't people huff that instead of compressed air? <laughs> Thin out the gene pool. Just a little bit. Oh my. Yeah, they got a quarry. And then there's a caged mess over there. It's going to be quite a little swim, but that's just fine. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I probably need this out more than that. I could throw away hatchet and pickaxe if I find some metal fragments. I can make my very own. Is this all tiny waters? No. It gets deep. You go out there into the water. Some of them. They don't come back. Yeah, it is that peninsula. Much like I had said. I just want to have a little peeky. A little peeky weeky. Is that so wrong? You've got a nice quarry and a, a big base. I just want to have a look inside. Hmm. Alright. Well, looks like they've got maybe two quarries over there. I thought I heard a furnace, but I think it's just the wind. It's just the wind. The wind hurts me. Hmm. We might be able to build right over this wall. Can I? Is that too close? Yeah, it's just a little too close. Two. Maybe three. And then I'll make some walls to support. Oh my god, why can I put the walls? Please, I need two walls. Wonderful. Come on, one more. I'm trying to work quick here. I don't want somebody to come and figure out what I'm up to. Building blocked. All of a sudden. What just happened? Is there somebody out there? Did it just lag a little bit? I don't understand. Hmm. <laughs> Important stuff on the top. Yeah, I'm sure. Should I even bother getting in here? Oh, actually, I could probably blow it up with just one C4. Seems a little desiccated. Well, a bit more expensive than the, uh, the wood shit, but... For some reason, that stopped working. Oh, yeah. Hello, world! Hmm, I keep hearing footsteps. But it sounds like it's just uh, a little bit of animals. Oh, yeah. And we got some metal fragments. 
thank you so much for your valued donation. Let's see what's in the other one. This is a nice little quarry they got up here. Only quarry I got gives me sulfur ore. Oh, see, they got a high quality one. God damn. Actually, I'm gonna leave this in here. We'll see. We'll see if we need it on the way out. <laughs> Mental note. Just like I remembered that sleeping bag so very well. Actually, we probably will need to take it because I didn't bring that much C4. So I can go back, stack it in the house just a little bit. And wouldn't it be perfect karma if somebody comes and raids my house? <laughs> my little base while I'm out here fucking screwing around with people. Well, it's a good sign that these things are desiccated. It means that maybe, uh, someone hasn't been on in a while. And it'll make it that much easier to get into their, their stuff. Is the main gate as broken up? It is. It is! Have that. Oh god, that's so good. Does that mean they've been raided before? It doesn't matter. I'm just curious. See what they got. Ooh, furnaces? Okay. This is a rather large base. My goodness. Hmm. Has somebody been in here? No. Or maybe they have and the box is rotted away. Interesting. Quite unsure where to start. We'll have a peaky peaky in the furnaces. Yeah, them's all empty. Dang. <clears throat> well, if I could find uh Boom. If I could find something to give myself access, maybe I could start building. Trump trade zone. <laughs> Is there a chicken in there? Yeah, somebody came through this wall, emptied out those furnaces. If I build up the side, I bet I can uh, do some good. Is that a wolf? Yep. Bad boy. Bad boy, what you doing? Alright. Well, one way or the other, I'm gonna find my way in here. Is this the way to go? I don't know. Slap a couple C4. <clears throat> we'll figure it out. Do 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 do. Anybody out there? Is there anybody out there? Is that just the other side? I bet it is. It's a big chunk of bullshit. Hmm. Maybe not. We'll go through the wrong way! Well, it's technically next to the door, but... Eventually we'll meet a hallway, maybe. Or I'll just waste a bunch of C4. Doesn't really matter to me, no. Do, 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 do. Everybody safe over here? Everybody having a good time? Chicken? Good chicken. Hmm. Should we go the other way now? Let's see what's over here. It's such a good time. I, I really have no idea how to uh, go about getting in there. I'm hoping I'll blast my way to a tool cupboard. Ah. <clears throat> Blasting my way into something. Bunch of fern osses. Go ahead and take care of that real quick. Hmm. Empty fern osses. Is this all a diversion? My goodness. Oh. Hello. Dan, mate. You don't need this. I'll take that. And that. Need these. 
Oh, I could probably turn that into something if I take it back to base. Ah, well now we're in. Look at all them weapons. Oh, high quality. That's so nice. Volty. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I hope he doesn't wake up. Food, etc. Oh, just what I've been looking for. Oh, we found the stash, friends. <laughs> Randomly blew our way into it. Um, I don't know what was up with all the doors and shit like that. It probably goes all the way around the building. I'll eat up on this. Mm-hmm. Oh, you got a first aid kit in there, too. Top me up, mate. Top me up, Dan, mate. Some wood. Oh, yes. Explosive, C4. Dude, fucking done. <laughs> Made a profit already. That's so good. Oh, I don't even know if I need that much sulfur. Damn. Well, I can definitely come back here pretty shortly. And, uh, build my little hideout up a little more. Charcoal. That's good. Oh, I need this. Dude, fuck yeah. Are you kidding me? Authorize myself. <laughs> Alright. Couple furnaces. Yes, I'll take those. Laser sight. Targeting computer is not as rare as the CCTV camera. But yeah, thanks. Thanks, Dan, mate. You've been mighty kind. Oh god, I'm gonna come back and help myself to some of this. Well, that was uh, quite profitable, friends. I don't know what to say. Easier than I ever could have thunk it. And maybe I'll just uh, put a little wall here. Did I put a wall? I got privilege. Check my privilege, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was such a good raid, dude. <laughs> what a rush, man. Oh, and there's so much more shit to come and get. That's why I wanted to get more people to come with me. Um, and also to be like hired guns and shit like that. But no matter. It's all good. We gonna do the thing just right. Hmm. If I can remember where my little outpost was. I think it should be just on the edge there behind that rock. But I'm not 100% sure. Therein lies the trouble. We've got so much more looting to do. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Poor Dan. I'm sorry, Dan. But, uh, I do like your, your metal. Your metal face! Ah. I'm gonna go ahead and patch up my base with all these metal frags. And then I'll have an outpost. An official outpost. A raiding outpost. But I need to make sure to transfer all the stuff into my main base. Um, cause yeah. I would try to take some vengeance, and if I see a new little house pop up, well, I don't know if I'd necessarily blame them, because a wood house or sheet metal house that just came is probably not going to have the C4 that it would have taken to get in there. So, uh, good. Thank you so much, Dan. I appreciate that a lot. <laughs> feel like kind of a douchebag for doing it, but, you know, it's rust. I don't know what you want from me. This is, uh, the reason that I made these rockets and all this shit. And really, if I got super greedy, I could, uh, I could do some more shenanigans. But I don't think I will. I got a, a profit of 6 C4, I think. It took us 8 C4 to get into the house? Or something? 10, maybe? Yeah, like 10 or 11. Sounds about right. But we profited. We profited greatly. Hmm. Maybe it was on the other side of that river. Yeah. There it is. Hi, little house. Little destruction house on the prairie. <laughs> Oh, god damn! That's so much fun. I don't know how it could be any more fun. Did I do this? Yep, sure did. Um, probably need to get rid of this key. I want to make a door lock. I need to put some shit down. Alright, um... 
Here, Metal. You can sit in this box for now. I'm going to go get some friends for you, so don't you worry. Uh, we got some wood. That's pretty good. And guns. Wood and guns! Oh, I can craft those med kits up into better med kits. I got better med kits than you, Dan! God damn! Alright. So that uses up a bunch of my animal fat. That's good. And now I have many more guns in my outpost should somebody decide to uh, come and try and try and do something fucking cute. <laughs> Alright, now I need a uh, code lock. Code lock. Mm-hmm. That'll do. I need to... Oh, shit. Where'd I put that thing? I need the key. Where'd I throw the key? Oh my god. I threw it on the ground. I'm locked in my own base. Ah, whatever. <laughs> Do that. Still have uh, plus 3c4 from where we started. And then I can expand a little more now as well. Which is a good thing. Fall down, door. Fall down, you piece of shit! Oh, that's so nice. Outer ring! Inner ring! Yeah, that'll do. I think that's gonna make me real happy. And then maybe there should be a, a second staircase that takes us up to uh, a second story. See, I get these these resources and I just start uh start going crazy, start building faster than I know. All right, let's make a. Uh, well, I can make a good door. I can make a real good door. Thanks so much, Dan. You're the best. <laughs> Oh, man. Do I feel bad? A little bit. Oh, well. Life's tough. I don't know what you want me to say. Put a code lock on it. It'd be so horrible if somebody comes and destroys this. <laughs> and uh, this is my outpost only. So, my own special code. Oh, yes. And uh, let's make sure to upgrade. Yes. I might want to build up at some point, so I'm not uh, too keen to put a roof necessarily on this part just yet. This was mostly a, a run back so we could secure the supplies. I want to see if there's more stuff in that base, honestly. Cause there's probably a shit ton. And if Dan logged out forever and decided not to come back, then I want his stuff. I want all of his things. Can't you see? Okay. That should do for now. Let's make one more of these. And one more of, uh, them. Boop, boop. Okay, we'll go like that, and like this, change the code, gets me pissed. Okay. What else, what else? I could set up some furnaces in here. That wouldn't be a bad idea, maybe. Couple more. Sloppily placed. Why you get it all over your face? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I needed a lot of charcoal uh, previously, but now I don't necessarily. Hmm. Okay. What else do we need? What else do we need? I feel like I'm missing something. Hmm. Let's stash some of this for sure. I'll take this many. 
don't want to overkill it. Oh, and maybe I could bring my cool hat. Hooray! Alright. Oh. Also sulfur. Also sulfur! I wish you could burn cloth. I always end up with, uh, far too much cloth. Oh, you know what would be good? A fucking tool cupboard. Do I have enough wood? Just enough. Tool cupboard is probably one of the first thing that you should build for any outpost. I don't always, uh, put myself in the habit, which is a shitty thing. Quite shitty indeed. Um, if I put it there, can I still get through the door? I don't think so. Well? Well, well. Put it in the door. That's why I want it. Well, those, uh, furnaces are dead forever to us. <laughs> That's just fine. I don't need it! I don't need it! Okay. Should I bring some more C4? No, this is basically just a looting run. I can use up what I have currently, but, um, yeah. <laughs> Poor Dan. He's gonna wake up with nothing. Hmm. Ooh. So sad when that happens. But also, meh. Happens to everyone, man. I I'm sorry that it had to be me this time. Uh, let's go here. Place, place, place. Do it. I want an easy bridge. Oh, I drank the foul water. Whoops. Fine, I'll swim. Damn it. There's miracles of nature like the San Monica Pier. I wonder if there is important stuff on the top. <laughs> it seems like he had most of the important stuff on the very bottom floor with him. I, I was not put off by his, uh, his trickery. I just say, oh, you say important stuff's up there, it must be on the bottom. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. And if you're gonna do that, at least put it in the middle, so maybe I'll get frustrated halfway through. But no, we had our payday right off. It's still going, as a matter of fact. I should, uh, just clear the rest of his walls with a rocket launcher. But I won't! I ain't that mean. Not yet. What I'm doing is pretty mean. Oh well. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Sue me? <laughs> sue me, sue me! Oh. It is a nice base. I'm sad that it had to go the way that it did. But it was relatively easy to get into, wasn't it? It wasn't so hard. It seems like I did bypass a lot of the base, which is kind of why I want to go back and see if there are more treats inside. Hmm. Danny boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling. From Glen to Glen, something, something else. I thought I heard a fire. A fire somewhere. Are you alive down here, Danny? Danny, are you alive? No, you're not. You're not alive. <laughs> um... I'll take some wood. I'll take whatever you got, suckle. What you got, suckle? Throw that away so he has to go collect some. Mm-hmm. I think this is working real well. Weapon laser sight. I'd like some survey charges. Yes, please. This is all kind of junky. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, I, I am such a sucker for guns. Rockets. 
Thank you so much. Oh my god. I need all this stuff. You can have the crossbows. I ain't really fond of them. And there we go. Filled up. <laughs> Some charcoal there. We complete this shit. Mmm, I don't really need leather. We've been once through here already. Finish off those metal frags. Hmm. It's got hatchets and stuff. Stuff I don't really need. Nor care for. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Might as well top up that wood. Nicely. I really do kind of want to see what else is in this base. But this is the the throne room. You can tell because it's like completely armored. So I'm quite lucky that I found it through the top floor. Up one side, down the other. Metal sulfur. Hmm. Let's do this. Just for fun. I probably shouldn't leave Dan alive down there. But, uh... He ain't hurt nobody. He didn't do nothing. Yeah, here is where he was gonna honeycomb a bunch of doors in and shit. But it doesn't seem like he ever got around to it, <laughs> which is quite unfortunate. Yeah. This could have been, uh, really hellish to go through. But really, if you want to force somebody to go through it, you need the armored walls, like I was saying earlier. Hmm. Should I call that a victory? Should I just leave? Should I see some more? Interesting. So this is where the base started, I presume. Let's just have a little uh, look inside Danny's mind and see what the rest of his base might look like. Oh, pardon me, pardon me. Yeah, then he's got the the biggie doors. Well, cool. I'm glad we found a, a relatively easy way in. I think I only have like plus one C4, but also plus a million guns, so that's a nice thing. You raiding Dan? About done now. <laughs> We got him real good. Oh well. I think I should go across this way. He dropped that shit. Where's the airdrop? I want an airdrop too. Even though my inventory is all full of shit. All full of shit. I bet it dropped it way further down south. Which of course it would because I'm I'm north. <laughs> Why would it play nice nice with me? I've got so many guns, man. We gotta run all this shit home. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna stack some more C4. We'll look for a new target. Um it's a relatively low pop server as well, so. We might just go fun around, build some buildings and blow them up kind of thing. Because <laughs> that seems like it could be fun to me. <sighs> so friends, this has been Rust. I've been Brandon Dayton, your quite rich narrator. Oh my god. Just crazy. <laughs> I hope to see you in the next one, friends. If you do like, comment, and or subscribe, on this video, I will send you uh, a pretty nice e-cigarette. It's it's pretty gigantic. 
which I think makes it better as far as I know about e-cigarettes. So <laughs> I hope you will for that thing, but also for me because you like me. Maybe. Hopefully. Probably not. <laughs> Until the next time, friends. Bye bye One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.